My friends, the story is told of a Russian Jewish emigre in the late 1970s who was interviewed at an absorption center in Tel Aviv. Tell me, asked the social worker, how was life in the Soviet Union? I can't complain, replied the emigre. And how were your living conditions in Russia? I can't complain, responded the immigrant. And how was your job in the USSR? I can't complain, replied the new settler. Puzzled, the social worker countered, if you can't complain, so why did you come to Israel? Because here, replied the refugee, I can complain. My friends, Jews have a history of complaining, as we witness in this week's Torah portion, Baha'u'llah. The Israelites, wandering in the wilderness, complained to Moses, there is nothing to eat. We are fed up with the daily diet of manna. They look back to the good old days. We remember the fish we ate in Egypt, the cucumbers, the melons, the leeks, the onions, and garlic, forgotten, of course, was the fact that these foods were filled with bitter tears and eaten with the bread of affliction. So often, we are tempted to elevate the behavior of the Israelites and exemplify them as models of gratitude, patience, and respect. We may want to reconsider that approach as we now encounter in Sefer Bamid Bar, the Book of Numbers, several consecutive Torah portions that illustrate their real temperament. Portion after portion, we learn how the Israelites, instead of relishing their newfound freedom, they grumbled, they fetched and complained their way through their journey in the wilderness, plotting and scheming, evading responsibility and disobeying God. Soon after their extraordinary Experience at Mount Sinai, they cause horrific plagues to come down upon them. No one likes to hang around someone who constantly whines and complains over glorifying the past can have some pretty harmful consequences as in the case of our ancestors in the wilderness. Today, many are complaining about the recent uptick of anti-Semitism as a result of the Israeli Hamas conflagration. Need I remind them of the 2,000 years of Jewish persecution, oppression, martyrdom, subjugation, coercion, the unspeakable anti-Semitism we encountered in the Crusades, the Inquisition, the pogroms, the Holocaust, long before there was a state of Israel. So much for nostalgia and the good old days of Egypt. At the end of the day, sometimes it feels good to get your grievances off your chest. But if you're going to express negative sentiments, make sure you do it in a productive and positive way by keeping things in perspective. Shabbat Shalom.